a blizzard of anger is following the largest snowstorm to hit London in nearly two decades. Britain's capital was brought to a halt after a storm dropped more than eight inches of snow from overnight Sunday into Monday. It's estimated six million people skipped work Monday when bus and subway service stopped. The storm also grounded airlines and hobbled businesses. It's terrible. Every other country can manage it. You get your Canada's, your flipping sock, Russia, everything else, Finland, all get through. By Tuesday, most airports, bus routes and subway lines in London were running as normal. But more than 1,000 British schools remained closed for a second day. No problem at all. More trains this morning than there ever has been. Probably people doesn't know that the bus is operating today. So, well, it's all right, I think. Okay. Today is fine. Yeah, today is grand. But it looks good. But for me, it was no problem anyway, like. Now, transportation officials, business leaders and local authorities are accusing one another of failing to prepare for the storm. London's mayor said the city simply didn't have enough snow plows to deal with the downfall. It's believed that the storm cost Britain's economy up to four and a half billion dollars. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.